Hello everyone and welcome to DMP Online tutorial on setting up DMP Online. Today I'll continue with the series that are the introduction to DMP Online. In this short video, I'll explain how to grant administrator privileges for other administrators in your institution, and I'll also explain what each privilege grants for the administrator. So once you're the administrator for your institution, you'll have the rights to add other administrators to your team. You'll have to hover the mouse over the admin drop-down menu and select users. I have already done so. And then the users affiliated with your institution will come up. Now you can select the user to whom you want to grant the admin privilege. So for example, I'm gonna click on Douglas and I click in here on edit. And now the list of admin privileges will come up. You can either select the top one, which selects all of the admin privileges, or you can grant each one individually, depending on the needs for your institution. So if you decide that the user in your institution should be able to manage user privileges, it means that the admin will be able to assign privileges to others in your organization, and he will be only able to assign the privileges he has himself. So in a case, he's only able to I don't know, manage user privileges and use API, he'll be able to assign only these two to other admins. Now, the second one, uh, manage templates, means that the administrator will be able to create new organizational templates, edit existing ones, and customize founder templates. Now, the third one, manage guidance, means that the admin will be able to create and edit guidance, use API, provides you with an API token and grants rights to harvest info from DMP online. And manage organization details uh, means that the admin who has this right will be able to edit organizational details such as name, URL, contact email, and logo. And the last one, review plans, is actually our newest addition um, to admin rights. And this means that this is a role for those who do not need the full admin rights. However, plan reviewers will get notified with review requests and be able to view and comment on the plans, but will not be able to edit the templates or guidance. In the next DMP Online introduction video, I'll explain how to customize your institutional profile. I hope you have enjoyed this video. And do not forget that if there is anything specific you wish us to explain, please get in touch with us at dmponline at dcc.ac.uk. Subscribe to our monthly newsletter and follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn to keep up to date with our most recent work. The links are below this video. Goodbye.